In this video, we will look at various methods for calculating proximity. Proximity analysis calculates distances between entities in 2D. Distances can be measured in two ways. Either as straight line distance, or as shortest path distance. Let's first look at some examples of straight lines distances. Straight line distances can be measured between different types of entities. The simplest are point-to-point -point distances. These are calculated using the Euclidean distance formula. For point-to-polyline distances, the closest point on the polyline is calculated. This closest point is not necessarily a vertex. It is calculated by projecting the source point onto the polyline. The distance between the source and the closest point is then calculated. For point-to-polygon distances, the closest point on the polygon is calculated. The closest point is again calculated by projecting the source point onto the polygon edges. The distance between the source and the closest point is then calculated. In many systems, nearest functions may be available for calculating proximity for multiple positions at the same time. For large numbers of points, these functions can be significantly faster than calculating distances one by one. The nearest function typically has two additional arguments, the radius and the maximum number of positions to return. A nearest analysis will first find all positions within the specified radius. In the example, we see that four positions are found. The maximum number of positions to be returned is specified as an dot. If the number of positions is less than or equal to an, then all positions are returned. If the number of positions is greater than an, then the closest and positions are returned. Next, we will look at using offsets to calculate proximity. If the proximity between many positions needs to be calculated, then another approach is to use offsets. Geometric entities can be offset to create polygons. Points can then be checked to see if they are inside or outside the offset polygons. For example, let's assume that need to find positions within a certain distance from a set of polylines. You can first offset the polylines to generate a single unioned polygon. Then you can check to see if the positions are in the polygon. Next we will look at proximity analysis using shortest path analysis. For two points, the shortest path distance measures the shortest path through a network. Remember that the path length is the sum of the weights of the edges. For the shortest paths, the source and target must be nodes in the network. It is not possible to find the shortest path to a polyline or polygon, but we will see later that it is possible to find the shortest path to all the positions that make up the polyline or polygon. Nearest analysis can also be combined with the shortest path analysis. Let's assume that the source position is not in the network. In that case, the nearest analysis can first be used to find the nearest position to the source. The other option is that the source position is not in the network. In that case, the nearest analysis can be used to find the nearest position to the target. Next, we will look at a variant of the shortest path, which we will refer to as the closest path. The closest path analysis calculates the distance to the closest target. It first calculates shortest paths to all target nodes and then selects the closest target. This function is a convenience function. It avoids the need to create a loop yourself and iterate through all the target nodes. The closest path can be used in any situation where multiple targets need to be analyzed. In this example, 
The function is used to find the closest path distance from a source node to all nodes that make up a polygon. The nearest function can also be combined with closest path. In the example, there is a single source with multiple targets. The aim is to find the closest target to the source. However, in this case, the source is not part of the network. In this case, the first step finds the closest network node to the source. It then finds the shortest path to all targets and selects the shortest one.